Hi Scorpio, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your March 2021 monthly tarot forecast. This is a reading for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you are a cross watcher, you may be able to resonate with some of these messages. So guys, I would like to say welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. Also, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate that. All right, so we have the Three of Cups Scorpio that just flipped right out. What does the sign of Scorpio have coming up for the month of March, please? Scorpio. Okay, Three of Cups crossed by the moon. We have the Magician, we have the Four of Wands, we have the Page of Pentacles, Scorpio. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Swords. Okay, we have the Two of Wands, we have the Four of Swords, and we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. The overall energy for you guys, Scorpio, for the month of March is we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, let's see. I definitely am reading for many of you, Scorpios, we are... You're healing a relationship, whether that be romantic or it could be a family relationship that's healing, a friendship that's healing. Wow, look at this. Financially, Scorpio, March is a really good time for you. I see your hard work paying off. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Six of Pentacles. You might be very, very generous with your loved ones. If you have a friend, a family member, someone around you who needs your help, I definitely see you coming through for them. Um, for many of you, though, this is your hard work paying off. This is recognition. Definitely I'm reading for some Scorpios where there's a promotion, there's a raise uh, that's coming up for you here. This is you feeling good, looking good, people around you absolutely adore you, Scorpio, with the Six of Wands. If you're a Scorpio who has an online business, I see that booming, I see that doing very well here in March. Yeah, I, I definitely am seeing of lots of money, Scorpio, coming in for you guys, lots of money. Um, that Six of Pentacles is representing that reciprocity. So, yeah, you being very generous with, with others, others, you know, being very generous with you. And I see this with friends. I see this with family. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Moon. For some of you, you're helping a friend, you're helping a friend, or if not helping a friend, um, this is both of you wanting to maybe reunite. You could be making up with a friend. Both of you are putting in effort.
some of you are going out. You could be celebrating uh, something here at the start of the month. I see you going out. For many of you, this is going to be at night. We have the moon. You might be friends with a water sign. You could be going out with a Pisces, a Cancer. It could be another Scorpio. Um, but the moon for me is, is Cancer, it's Pisces. And so you could be going out or you could be reuniting with a water sign. Now, if you're single, if you're single, um, some of you are going to possibly be falling for a friend. Um, but I think that this is really both of you um, falling for each other. So if you're single, if you're if you're going out, if you're just being more social here um, in March, if you want to meet someone, um, put yourself out there. I, I, I definitely see many of you meeting someone. I see you coming together with, with another person here. I see you having a lot of fun. Now, if it doesn't turn into to romance right away, that's okay. Take it slow. For some of you, you're making a new friend here, and maybe it could lead to something else later on. But yeah, I see you manifesting. We have the magician. See you manifesting. Uh, I see some of you making a new friend or making a new business contact. Uh, you could be going out, networking a lot here in the month of March. If you're a business owner, I think that's a really good idea. The more people you meet here in March, the better. Listen to your intuition. That might be the challenge, Scorpio, is to... Uh, listen to your intuition here with the moon in this position. Trust yourself. Trust your instincts. There could be some fear here. Fear of the unknown. Those of you that are reuniting with someone, there could be some fear. There could be some fear, definitely. We have the four of wands in the recent past. Those of you that are meeting someone, you might be introduced to somebody um, through a friend. Also, some of you, this could be like a friend of the family, something like that. You have this really positive, really social energy here, Scorpio. I really like your reading. It's beautiful. Um, I see you going out. I see you definitely very social. I see you mingling with a lot of different people. Uh, there could have been a family reunion or some event that just happened maybe at the end of February. For many of you, you're going out at night. You're doing maybe more things at night. You might be working at night. And um, if you were thinking about reaching out to someone, if you were thinking about it, I think you are going to do it. Um, it could be that you're going to, if not actually call them, you could, you could be doing this online. You could be doing this like Facebook Messenger or something like that or even texting Others, this is an opportunity that's coming in. And again, it could be uh, to work at night or something like that. But whatever this is, it's, it's very, very positive. Uh, if you've had like a legal matter that's been on, ongoing, it could be some legal news that's coming in for you. Now, we have earth energy here. We have lots of earth energy. So if you are making a new friend or a business contact or reuniting with someone, it could be this king of pentacles here. 
So Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I always get a Taurus Scorpio connection. I, I just always get that. So if, for some of you, it's it's a Taurus. Um, but Page of Pentacles for me is Capricorn, so it could be could be any Earth sign. And if you're a male, if you're a male, um, you might be a business owner. You might sit in a position of power. It could be that you're, uh, you work in like management or something like that. Some of you maybe return to work, maybe in the recent past. But um, I see you having the ability, Scorpio, no matter if you're male or female, I see you having the ability to basically manifest your dreams, your desires, whatever it is that you want, whether that's a new job or expanding your business or going out and making new friends or reuniting with someone, whatever it is that you want, you can make it happen. Just, you know, listen to your, your intuition. Some of you having some very vivid dreams here in the month of March. It could be dreaming about a friend or someone that you do want to reunite with. There could be some messages um, coming through in your dreams. We see this King of Pentacles that's very significant here around the second week. This person might be offering you something here. And you might not completely trust this this person because we do have the seven of swords here or maybe they don't completely trust you this can go either either way and so with the moon in this position and then the seven of swords this is not going to be lies and deception for all of you it's really not this is a very suspicious energy so either you maybe don't completely trust this person or they don't completely trust you that's a possibility that's not going to resonate with all of you. This is in the position of your power, Scorpio. So this is you having a plan. This is you having a strategy when it comes to you making it happen. When it comes to you manifesting something that you want or making some changes. This is you having a strategy could even be like some sort of escape plan for some of you. There's an escape plan. <laughs> um, if somebody's trying to reunite with you, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest. That's not for everybody. But this could be an escape plan. Could be something legal or it could be with someone who's trying to reunite with you, but maybe you're not... 100% into it. Yeah, this is this is an escape plan for some of you. But this is you strategizing, this is you having um, the world in your hands. Again, whatever it is that you want, you can make it happen. This is you planning for the future. Some of you are maybe planning on taking a vacation. We see you being social here at the start of the month and we see you being social uh, maybe at the end of February, but then you maybe had to go right back to work. We see you working very hard. We see you um, being recognized for your hard work. And maybe some of you are planning a vacay. You might you might want to go out. You might you might want to spend more time with your friends, your 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 loved ones, whatever it is. Some of you, you could be um, planning on maybe getting together with with friends, family here at the end of the month. Could be trying to escape. Uh, some of your obligations, Scorpio. That's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. You're in a good place, you know. You've worked very hard to be in this position. So if you want to do that, there's no judgment. If you want to do that, then do it. Seven of Swords is not always bad. People label certain cards as, as bad, and it's, 
you know, that's not the case. But um, here in the hopes and fears, you have the Four of Swords, which is you wanting a break. You need a break. There's nothing wrong with taking a break. For some of you, you will do that at home with your loved ones. Others, I mean, you could be taking a family vacay. If you work for a large company, an organization, you could be taking a break from that company. You need to recharge. Let's do some clarifying. First, we will look at the moon. Yes, there could be a handful of Scorpios, no matter if you're male or female, where you're taking a break from a long-term relationship. Could be that you want to meet new people. For some of you, there may have been an attraction to a friend. This could be taking place at the start of the month. And here, uh, some of you are going to uh, decide to take a break from a relationship. Yeah, because there's, um, for some of you, there's, there's a new door that's opening. You might have, um, you know, new options coming in here. All right, so let's take a look at the Seven of Swords. For Scorpio, please, let's look at the Seven of Swords. Let's take a look at, let's see the magician. Okay, yeah, interesting. This is interesting. Let's see, we have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we see you planning. So there's some fear here. So you're planning ahead, which is good. Which is good. Um, we, we definitely see you very strategic. We definitely see you having all, you know, all the tools, everything you need when it comes to, um, you know, making some moves here, Scorpio. I think that this is good. Some of you have maybe a new option, a new door that's, that's opened up here at the start of the month. Could be a third party. Not everybody will resonate like that. And um, this is a new path that you are going to explore, but it's going to take you some time. Um, some of you, this is on the business front. This could be a new connect that you made. Um, and maybe you don't completely trust this person. And so we see you planning, but we also see you a little fearful. Some of you work in a very competitive position. So maybe the field that you work in is, is a very competitive field, or if you work for a large company, you know, there's just a lot of competition uh, around you. And so I, I see you very strategic. So, I mean, that's good. That's good. We have the Five of Wands with the Magician. Many of you work in a very competitive field, but this can be fuel. So these haters around you, these people that are jealous because you're so talented, Scorpio, whatever it is, and we see you being recognized. We see many of you um, receiving a raise, a promotion. There's a tension that's coming your way. So there's always going to be those haters in the background, right? And so I think that you're using this as fuel. Or if you're not, this is what you need to do. Okay? Don't let um, outside energies, haters, whatever, don't let these people, these energies interfere with you doing your thing, you making your moves, you growing within your career, whatever it may be, don't um, let any outside parties, you know, bring you down. And for some of you, that's exactly what this is. We have the Five of Swords with the Seven of Swords. 
So it's like you don't trust a situation or you don't trust a person or even a group of people. There could be a lot of gossip around you. And so you don't trust this situation. You don't trust this entirely. So we see you planning. It's like you're planning ahead, which is good, which is smart. And this can be an escape plan, like I mentioned earlier. Some sort of escape plan could be hearing something about that. Maybe you're leaving a place or a department, moving into another position, something like that, Scorpio. But um, yeah, this is you having a plan. Could be playing your own game here with this energy. But I think it's because you have a lot of competition. There's a lot of competition and um, everybody's maybe out for themselves. And so you're planning ahead. All right, so let's pull you some additional guidance cards, Scorpio. Additional guidance for Scorpio, please, here for the month of March. Some of you, you know, maybe in the workplace, we see you very successful and we see you being recognized, but I mean, maybe the people you work with, I'm definitely reading for some Scorpios where you have some maybe haters around you. There's some jealousy that you've been dealing with. Let's see. Let's look at finances and career for Scorpio, please, for the month of March might feel as though you're walk, walking on eggshells. Okay. All right. Let's look at your love life, Scorpio, March 2021. What is the advice for Scorpio, please? Okay. And then I'm pulling you one last card here when it comes to your love life. What is the advice for Scorpio for March? Okay. All right. What do you need to release? So something maybe is no longer serving you. This could be your social circle for some of you, definitely, Scorpio. This could be the position you're in at work. For some of you, this is you landing a new job, though. Or being promoted, you could be leaving a certain position that you worked with, you know, certain people. We definitely see you doing, doing the work here. So if you're older and you don't work for a living, it could be your social circle. Don't believe everything you hear, that's for sure. Um, with the moon here, not all is known, and this could be in regards to some sort of gossip that you hear or Something with your social circle. In particular, it could even be a Capricorn, an Earth sign. You know, just don't trust everything you're hearing. You know, you want to definitely do your research. Because somebody could be playing their own game. They might have their own agenda here with the Five of Swords. So something needs to be released. It can simply be fear. Um, if, you're, if you haven't been social, and maybe you want to be social. Maybe you want to manifest new relationships, new connections. That might be what's needed is, is you releasing that fear. Looking at finances and career, we have do the work. It's not enough to dream or pray. You've also got to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. So you have to do the work. And um, 
that's exactly what this is as far as connections you making new connections some of you that's what's needed doesn't matter what you do for a living this is what's needed is you need a new so social circle or you need new business connections and you're being divinely guided but you know the universe spirit can only take us so far then we have to do the work so they're they're leading you um to the right people but you have to make the choice as far as taking action and initiating a friendship whatever it may be you have to do the work okay looking at your love life we have released your ex the time has come to clear your energy and then we also have serendipity so some of you have a soulmate that's coming in okay you might meet this person when you're out and about this would be in its very early stages this person might just be a friend some of you are just meeting this person here in march we have very very strong earth energy you might meet this person through work or you might meet this person through a friend or maybe they're um, a friend of the family something like that but you're going to see those synchronicities. You're going to see, you know, one thing happening right after another. You'll be able to connect the dots maybe later on. But you're definitely dealing with faded events. And I think you're being guided to let go of the ex. For some of you, if, if you're watching this saying, no, I, I'm not hanging out to an ex. You simply need to clear your energy. It could be fear, negative, negative thought patterns that you're dealing with. Um, you need to maybe cleanse your space, yourself, but your, your environment, maybe your workspace for many of you. I'm just needing to clear your energy. Yeah, you're definitely being guided and some of you do have a soulmate that's coming in. I think that they're just a friend or someone that you work with here in March. So give it time. You need to do the work. You definitely need to put in that, that effort, that energy. But first, you need to pay attention. You need to see the signs. You need to listen to your intuition. Okay? All right, Scorpio. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed. Uh, all right, guys. Stay tuned for the How Your Person Feels. It's a new series that I'm doing here on my channel. I got a lot of positive feedback uh, about those readings, so definitely stay tuned um, and find out maybe more about this person, this relationship. All right, guys. I do want to wish you a wonderful month of March. Take care.